What can you do? If you put your mind to it and you're willing to spend a little bit of time doing something. So we're talking about today, everyday KT, 208. 11 years. 11 years. That's how long ago I founded the Brotherhood of the Kilt. 11 years ago. 11 years ago, the phone that I'm talking to right now, the whole, the, even the technology didn't even exist. 11 years ago, half the social media that we use today did not exist. It's, it's an amazing thing. And it's been a hell of a journey. 11 years. You know, a lot of people uh, watching this on Facebook, they think the Brotherhood of the Kilt is just a random Facebook group. It's not. This started, I think, before Facebook. Um, over at KiltRock.com. We've been around promoting kilts, helping people um, get into kilts, helping people understand their genealogy, as it were, helping them not get ripped off. Those were the big proponents of why we started it in the first place. But it's evolved. It's evolved a lot in that now it's not just all of those things. It is helping People get out of their own way, helping them come out of their shell, as it were, helping them get past their anxieties, their 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 worries, whatever problems they might have, helping them overcome them and become better at at being themselves. Um, using the kilt as a metaphor to empower people to be awesome. It's it, it's. It's just awe-inspiring when you see somebody for the first time saying, you know what, screw it. I'm going to do something for myself and succeed. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it in your lifetime, please figure it out. Find a way. Inspire someone to do better. And it doesn't have to be become like an Olympic athlete or a, uh, I don't even know, some kind of master whatever they're doing. Just better. And to see the look on their face as they feel that that feeling of success, of improvement, of self-empowerment, as it were, of courage, of confidence in their abilities. It's an amazing thing to see happen. And, you know, 11 years is how long I've been working at helping people. And that's just with the Brotherhood of the Kilt. Helping people get over themselves, helping people get past their insecurities and their self-doubt and their self-worry, and to become more. And I encourage everyone watching this, you know, the it's not just a group. Get out there, and I encourage you to not only work on being better yourself, but to help other people. Help people find that thing that they love and help them find the confidence to do that thing. 11 years is a hell of a long time, but it's just scratching the surface. Because for some people, 11 years is, well, it is a lifetime. That's how old my son is, 11 years. You have to take that time, though. dedicate yourself to doing something. And in the process of doing that, Help other people. Help other people discover something. Maybe about themselves, maybe about you, whatever it might be. But don't just be completely self-serving in its in your entire life. Learn what you can do. Master your subject. Master your craft. Master what you love. And then pass that mastery on to other people. Because there are other people who want to do the things that you're awesome at. There are other people who want to learn to be as good as you are at what they do. And it could be anything. It could be underwater, upside down, basket weaving. Does not matter. You're awesome at something. Teach someone else how they can be awesome. I, I remember a quote from someone saying, a teacher's best compliment is seeing their student exceed, become better than the teacher, exceed the teacher's abilities. It's an amazing thing. So go out there, and what are you going to do in the next 11 years? It's a long time. You can have a hell of an impact in 11 years. So go out there and do something awesome. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, the uh, website over at I'm still working on, you know, revamping it. It, it uh, 
It's a little dated right now. But we've got the Brotherhood of the Kilt group over on Facebook. There's almost 5,000 people in there. We're all talking about all kinds of shenanigans. Not just, this is a kilt, and this is how you wear it, and this is, this is what you do in your kilt. It's people living their lives who most happen to be kilted, looking to get information about the kilt, pass on information about the kilt in all of its various forms, regardless of what some people think. There's a lot of different ways to wear your kilt, and there's a lot of different people who wear the kilt in a lot of different ways. So come check it out. It's over uh, the Brotherhood of the Kilt group over on Facebook. We'll pretty much let just about anybody in. And uh, just make sure you're going to have a, a, a thick skin because kilt police are not allowed. So, 11 years. 11 years. I, uh, I never thought I'd be here doing this 11 years, much less live, anywhere. Didn't do live videos 11 years ago. Didn't do videos at all. Didn't just didn't happen. Unless I had the uh, big camcorder. Been a long trip. Very long time. But it's not going to stop. I'm looking for at least 11 more. God knows how many more after that. Just spreading the word, helping people get better at being themselves. Because that's the whole point. One of the first things we did is I made business cards. In the bottom, this is Brotherhood of the Kilt business card. It says, you don't need to be Celtic to wear the kilt. You just need the courage to put it on. That's been the driving force behind this for 11 years, and it's going to continue to be so. So go out there, kick some ass, help some people out. Help yourself out. Be a better person. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Happy 11 years. Be strong. Put guilt on.